how will Chelsea perform next season? As the much awaited Premier League season is approaching, there are major talks of how Chelsea Football Club will fare and its overall position come the end of the season. Don't get me wrong, as a Chelsea fan, there are high hopes for the top three position. They could even surprise everyone by finishing first. Here is why. Firstly, let's talk about the new coach, Enzo Moresca. Moresca, in the past season, rescued Leicester City from the jaws of relegation. He gave Vardy a chance to play again in the EPL. We all know how Vardy loves to entertain fans with these hilarious celebrations. Although majority of the fans may say that the championship is incomparable to the EPL, we've all witnessed how some of the teams including Leicester have come up from the relegation and won the league. There isn't much luck in that, is it? Besides, Moresca managed to pull this off in the first season with Leicester. Keeping in mind majority of the club's big players like Madison and Telesman left while they were needed the most. Additionally, Moresca has been under Pep Guardiola's management. Pep is renowned for winning a treble just the other season and winning the EPL consecutively. He is also recognized for producing quality coaches like Mikel Ateta. So you can see I'm not just arguing for the sake of it, but rather pointing you to it. Besides, we all know how bald coaches tend to be. Think about Zidane and Pep himself. Moving on. We can look at Chelsea's squad quality and see how the chances are increasing for the top position. We can look at Cole Palmer for instance. Making his debut for the club last season, Cole Palmer was straight from the academy and managed to top the EPL score sheet with 22 goals and 2 hat-tricks in only 33 matches. There was no doubt he would have won the Golden Boot if given full match appearances, which will most likely happen this coming season. He is young, and like he said, at Chelsea and general football, he has much talent to explore. We can't wait for it. Furthermore, the striking of Chelsea Football Club has been having a major challenge in the previous season, with Nicholas Jackson being most available option for Mauricio Pochettino. This was mainly because Christopher Nkunku was injured. This season, there will be plenty of options available for Moresca as Nkunku showed his potential straight from recovery at the end of last season. Moving on to the midfield, which comprises of Moses Caicedo, Enzo Fernandez and Conor Gallagher, there was much lower performance in the previous season in comparison to their market value. It was witnessed, however, at the end of the campaign, the overall improvement. This is also much anticipated to continue this coming season. With Thiago Silva leaving the club, many options are still available for the defense. Mark Kukurela, who is doing quite well at the Euros, will be available for the left back. Moresca, back at Leicester, was known for inverting the full backs and with Mark Kukurela and Rhys James available, this increases the chances for Chelsea. Tosin, a new signing from Fulham, together with Chaloba, Ben Chilwell, Badiashil and Colwell will also be available at Moresca's disposal for greater performance. Finally, Chelsea's debut game will be against Man City. The previous season, Man City did not pose as much of an opponent for Chelsea considering they tied severely. In that spirit, there are high chances for another tie or a win for Chelsea in that game. Imagine starting a Premier League campaign by defeating the title holders. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.